In this paper, we propose a system for modeling full-size knitted garments with yarn level detail and complicated knitting patterns. We begin with a polygonal mesh that defines the surface of the garment. Then, we use an interactive modeling procedure to generate a high-resolution mesh that is used as an abstract representation of the yarn level model. We call this the stitch mesh. Finally, we generate the actual yarn curves from the stitch mesh and perform physically based relaxation that produces the realistic 3D deformations for the knitted garment. Let's take a look at the intermediate stages of our modeling system in more detail. Given a polygonal mesh that defines the garment surface, we label the components of the mesh to specify the desired knitting direction over the surface. In real world terms, this denotes where one would start knitting this garment and in which direction the knitter would continue knitting until the garment is completed. Using these knitting directions and parameters specified by the user, we generate a high-resolution stitch mesh. The stitch mesh serves as an abstract representation of the yarn level cloth model. Each face of the stitch mesh corresponds to a particular stitch of the yarn level model. The stitch type of a face can be assigned by the user from a collection of predefined stitch types. In the interactive modeling window, we use color coding to display the stitch type of each face. We provide both low-level and high-level editing operations on the stitch mesh so that the user can easily specify the desired knitting pattern over the garment surface. Knitted garments typically include repeated patterns. Therefore, we have developed tools for easily specifying and tiling complicated patterns on a garment. In our system, a pattern is a rectangular stitch mesh. Its internal topology and the stitch types of the faces define the knitting pattern. Some faces of the pattern can be tiled, and others are placed at the two ends. This way, we can easily generate a larger stitch mesh from this pattern by tiling it as specified by the user. Similarly, we can place the pattern on any stitch mesh by replacing a rectangular region of the stitch mesh with the tiled pattern. After the stitch mesh is modeled, we perform offline relaxation to produce a realistic garment model from the stitch mesh description. Our offline relaxation procedure begins with mesh-based relaxation. Mesh-based relaxation first moves the vertices of the stitch mesh onto the subdivision surface defined by the input model, and then slides the vertices on this surface to provide a more uniform stitch distribution. After the mesh-based relaxation converges, we generate the actual yarn curves that are defined by the stitch mesh. Finally, we perform a yarn level relaxation to compute the final realistic garment model. The details of all these procedures are explained in the paper. In the remainder of this video, we will show you example patterns and full-size knitted garments prepared using our system.